Claire, thank you. In the meantime, there is a safe conclusion to the Spokane 15-year-old girl who went missing on Saturday. Yeah, this is good news. The girl was found safe, but nearly 700 miles from Spokane. She told her mom she is meeting a friend at Manitou Park on Saturday, but the FBI managed to track and find her in Elko, Nevada with an 18-year-old she had met online. Well, 36 hours into their daughter's disappearance, her family was discovering that she had a secret online life. KHQ's Haley Gunther talked exclusively to those parents and an expert in social media safety. So many parents out there think this could never happen to my child or my family. But unfortunately, that's the exact attitude predators are hoping you'll have. She most likely met someone that she met online. I mean, she, she connected up with someone she met online and we have just no idea who this person is. And Tuesday, this family's fears coming true. That's exactly what had happened. Their young daughter missing some 72 agonizing hours, finally found nearly 700 miles in two states away. With her, an 18-year-old man, they say they did not know. We got into her Facebook messages and her Instagram account. My daughter actually found her Instagram account, the hidden one, and uh, we got in there and then we realized what she had been doing. They told us after she was found in a statement, quote, our daughter is safe, but this could have ended badly. For parents and teens, we hope this brings home the very real risk and dangers of modern social media. SmartSocial.com founder Josh Oak says this scenario is playing out far more often than parents realize. We hear this kind of story all the time. But you can work to decrease the odds in your house. Parents are often not on every single app that their kids are on. Familiarizing yourself with everything on your child's phone is crucial. Make sure you know how each app works, too, and don't stop there. One of the best ways to find out who your kids are messaging is to check in at random times and check in often. But also ensure you're checking all of their accounts. The trend of a fake Instagram account called a Finsta has been around for years and teens say is only continuing. Oak says Instagram users can manage up to five accounts and it's fairly easy to see if your child is doing that. Go to their Instagram app and in the bottom right you can hold down their profile photo and up will pop all of the other alternate usernames that your kid might be logged in as. And remind your kids your parents bought the phone, they own it. It's a lot like a car. Another really good piece of advice is utilize an older sibling or perhaps an aunt or uncle that your child is close to to keep tabs on what they're doing online. Really, really good information is linked for you right now on our website, khq.com. In the newsroom, I'm Haley Gunther. We'll send it back to you. All right, Haley, thank you. And Josh Oaks had several other pieces of advice for parents, including a social media contract. Oaks says that it functions as an icebreaker for parents to cover key safety issues like limiting screen time, sexting, and cyberbullying. It's also a reminder that using social media in a negative way comes with consequences. You can find more information about that on khq.com.